It has been 15 years since the Hawk had a solo game, and while he was featured in some recent console releases like the strategy game Midnight Suns and the failed live service action game Marvel's Avengers, neither game was able to capture the power fantasy fans got in a game like Ultimate Destruction, which came out way back in 2005. And it's time to change that, because Hawk fans have suffered long enough. So I will be once again outlining the perfect superhero game, this time starring the strongest there is. Like the previous videos in this series, I break Break down everything from the story and ideal game engine to costumes. I make these videos for fans of the characters, but also to potentially inspire developers who might not be aware that there is an audience willing to pay for these games. So if you'd like to see it get made, hit that like button so YouTube will share the video and comment any suggestions you have. Now to me, a solo hawk game should be a single player open world action game built in the new Unreal Engine 5 with an emphasis on fully destructible environments. Because a huge part of the hawk power fantasy is being able to cause a lot of destruction and traverse the environment. And you'll need plenty of space if you're going to accurately capture Hulk's leaping ability. The Hulk also has several comic book runs that would be perfect for a video game adaptation like this, and I'll be adapting my favorite one. The tutorial level of the game that introduces the story will see Bruce Banner as Hulk sent on a mission by S.H.I.E.L.D. to investigate a dangerous Hydra weapon they believe is hidden somewhere just outside of Las Vegas. After finding the secret base, Hulk discovers that the weapon is a Gamma Bomb, a weapon originally designed by Banner to be a safer nuke that ended up turning him into the Hawk. Hawk quickly tries to defuse it, but instead triggers a countdown that he's unable to stop and the bomb goes off. The extra gamma radiation causes Banner to hallucinate past traumas like losing the woman he loves. Hawk goes into a rage while hallucinating and nearby heroes, the Human Torch and the Thing from the Fantastic Four are sent to contain him. Believing they're enemies, you will fight them in a fully destructible recreation of Las Vegas. By the time the effects of the gamma bomb were off, and Hawk has regained his mind, most of Las Vegas will be destroyed. The fallout from this incident, combined with previous disasters involving the Hawk, will trigger a meeting with the secret organization known as the Illuminati. The group, featuring Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic, Black Bolt, and Doctor Strange, discuss what to do about the Hawk. Banner is later sent a message from Nick Fury, who has a new assignment for him. S.H.I.E.L.D. needs Hawk to go into space and destroy a rogue satellite. Hawk agrees, thinking the mission is perfect given how much the public is upset with him. But after boarding the ship and going into space, a pre-recorded message from Tony Stark plays. Stark and the Illuminati have decided it would be better for everyone involved if Hawk was no longer on Earth. They plan to send him to a peaceful, uninhabited planet for him to live on. Unfortunately, there is a malfunction and the ship goes off course. Hawk is instead sent to the war-torn planet of Sakaar, which will begin the iconic Planet Hawk storyline. Hawk is captured and forced to be a gladiator, but he will eventually lead an uprising to free the people and become the new ruler of Sakaar while finding love with the warrior Kyra. But after his ship explodes, killing his new wife, Hawk's rage and power increase to levels never before seen and he promises to return to Earth to get revenge on the Illuminati. This will take us into the World Breaker story, with the final part of the game focusing around Hawk's epic battle against Earth and all its heroes. The game's combat should be similar to the work of Vince Napoli, who is most known for his contributions to God of War and Marvel's Avengers, where he did a really good good job designing Hawk's hero kit in the game. We'll be improving on the limitations Marvel's Avengers put on the character due to the engine and game type, so Hawk will jump much higher and further, be able to use vehicles as weapons, and greatly increase the range and devastation of his abilities, such as the Thunderclap. These abilities, as well as additional perks, will be unlocked as you progress through the game and purchased with skill points, such as improved regeneration and increased strength from rage. Hawk also won't be staggered by enemies or weapons unless they are actually powerful enough to do so. There needs to be game balance, but not at the expense of hurting the power fantasy. I would also incorporate exciting cinematic cutscenes with quick time actions like we've seen in games like Azura's Wrath and the recent Final Fantasy 16. The story will naturally lead to Hawk changing his look, such as when he is a gladiator on Planet Sakaar, and you'll also be able to unlock iconic outfits for the character from his movies and the comics by completing challenges and objectives. As for who should develop it, we all know Insomniac is the best in the business right now at making single player, story driven Marvel games with expansive open worlds, and a Hawk game would be an interesting follow-up to Wolverine. EA currently has a multi-game deal with Marvel to develop at least three games, and so far they've only announced Iron Man. Adding Hawk to their lineup would definitely be a way to generate more hype for the deal. Motive, who is currently doing Iron Man, would be a great fit for this Hawk game, as well as Respawn. Let me know in the comments what you think and who you'd want to develop this Hawk game, and to hear about the perfect X-Men game, click on screen for the next video.